What's good guys, if you guys want the most cheap and most reliable EAFC24 coins, make sure you guys check out u7buy.com and make a purchase. Next time you guys also want to make a purchase, use the code DAN to get 6% off on making that team better. Also on the same website, if you ever want to sell your coins, you click on the help center and click on the selling section. Yo YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another video to the channel, y'all boys. And today is the moment of truth. I'm going to go ahead and rank the top 10 best updated strikers of EA FC 24 Ultimate Team, in my opinion. So once again, before I get into the list, I just want to reiterate, we're most likely not going to have the same list based on different experiences with certain cards. And it's all about preference at the end of the day. Now, you guys let me know and join me in the comment section down below who has been your favorite striker up to today, the month of November of EAFC 24. A lot of good options up top to carry you in foot champs, to score those clutch goals, to wiggle in those tight situations inside the box. Before I get into the list as well, I do wanna say that no wingers will be considered for the list. So if they do not have their first or second position as a striker role. If they're not a central position based player, like a center forward, a cam, or a striker, and their secondary position is not a striker role, they will not be in today's list. So you won't be seeing Trailblazers Hassan. You won't be seeing her in today's list, even though I'm sure she's a great striker. She cannot play as a striker technically. In game, obviously you can switch her. With that out of the way, gonna be including icons, informs heroes all type of special cards let's get into the first honorable mention first honorable mention is going to be 91 rated icon on re 62 medium medium work rates a double four star on the skill moves and weak foot acceleration type controlled with the right foot 93 pace 90 shooting 82 passing 89 dribbling 78 physicality finesse shot trade rapid on plus flare first touch travella and rocket ship ak quick step I don't usually like Henri on FIFA, guys. This year, he's very, very meta because of those play styles. Very overpowered card. The price tag says a lot. It was either this card or Kenny Daglish at the first audible mention. I went with Henri, even though Kenny is 4-5 and he has finished shot on plus. I think this card is better physicality-wise and pace wise as well. Second honorable mention is gonna be Road to the Knockouts, Erlen Haaland, a card that's been getting a lot of mixed reviews this year in FIFA. I don't know why, but six, five high, medium, four star skill moves, three star weak foot acceleration type, mostly lengthy with the left foot, 93 pace, 96 shooting, 71 passing, 86 dribbling, 92 physicality. And he has power header, acrobatic on plus, and quick step as well. Like I said earlier, Haaland getting a lot of mixed reviews this year. Maybe the meta is a little bit different this year compared to the previous FIFA installment. But with this card, you just got to play simple. Spam step overs, a little turn here and there inside the box. And he's going to be able to finish 9 times out of 10, even with that 3-star weak foot. With the 99 finishing, 99 type position, guys, you cannot go wrong with this card up top. Coming at number 10 is going to be a fan favorite from a lot of people. He was on my wingers list, and we obviously got to put him on the strikers list. Is 89 rated player of the month, human son, a card I deeply regret not completing. Six foot high, medium, four star skill moves, five star weak foot acceleration time, mostly explosive with the right foot. 89 pace, 91 shooting, 84 passing, 86 dribbling, 73 physicality, finesse shot on plus with rapid and quick step play style as well. Not much to say about Son, man. He's one of the best finishers in EFC 24 Ultimate. Insanely broken with his offensive AI. Very quick with and without the ball as well. Just an absolute powerhouse up top. Coming in number 9 is going to be 92 rated Centurion's Icon Zico, the Brazilian legend. 5'8 high medium work rate, double 5 star in the skill moves and weak foot, acceleration time, most explosive, right foot, 90 pace, 93 shooting. 92 passing, 92 dribbling, 73 physicality. He has dead ball plus, tiki taka, incisive pass, technical, flair, and travella as well. Even though he doesn't have the best traits in the game, he still performs very well in game because of his insane dribbling. One of the best dribblers I've used in EFC 24. Really good offensive AI. What lets the card down a little bit is his finishing doesn't appear to be as good as the 93 finishing shows. But he's double five, man. You cannot go wrong with those stats and double five. 
just can't go wrong with this card up top. Coming number eight is going to be a card I love so much this year. It's going to be 92 rated Bobby Charlton RIP to the legend, but 5'8 high medium work rates, four star skill moves, five star weak foot with the left foot acceleration type is explosive. 90 pace, 91 shooting, 87 passing, 91 dribbling, 74 physicality, power shot on plus, long ball, incisive, technical, quick step, Travella, and first touch as well. Bobby Charlton, guys absolutely amazing he is an incredible card up top very quick with the left stick dribbling insane finishing is absolutely top tier offensive ai is phenomenal just a complete amazing card to have up top coming number seven is going to be 92 rated centurions icon eusebio 5.9 high medium work rates four star skill most five star weak foot acceleration time mostly explosive with the right foot 93 pace 93 shooting 85 passing 92 dribbling 79 physicality power shot rapid on plus and rocket ship play style as well what's a strikers list without eusebio on the list yeah boys he's just gonna be meta every single year and i'm not gonna lie to you guys if they didn't release the centurion's icon version i rated the bobby Charlton card over the base eusebio but this eusebio is completely different so overpowered command number six is going to be 95 rated pelino 58 high medium work rates five star skill moves four star weak foot with the right foot acceleration type mostly explosive 93 pace 94 shooting 91 passing 94 dribbling 74 physicality as well finesse shot power shot incisive pass technical on plus quick step and he has trickster as well pele absolutely meta as usual only thing preventing him from being higher up on the list is the weak foot just not as consistent as I wish it would be. But dribbling, finishing on the strong foot, offensive AI, physicality, and pace checks all the boxes. Now we're getting into the top five, yeah, boys. And top five is going to be very, very controversial, I feel like, but it's my list. So number five is going to be 93 rated Johan Cruyff, aka Cruyffington. 5'11 high low work rates, double five star on the skill moves in weak foot, right foot. Acceleration type is mostly explosive, 90 pace, 91 shooting, 90 passing, 93 dribbling, 73 physicality, chip shot, incisive pass, tiki taka, flare on plus, first touch, trickster, and Trevella as well. Cruyff this year is very, very nice. Way better than last year in my opinion. They gave him a nice finishing boost, feels top tier on the dribbling as usual, pace is really nice. Cruyff this year is insanely glitchy i love his scoop turn animations he just knows how to get past defenders with ease now come at number four and it's gonna be the best female of eafc 24 over 15 without a question 93 rated mia ham 5-5 high medium work rates double five star on skill moves and weak foot with the right foot acceleration type is controlled explosive 92 pace 93 shooting 86 passing 92 dribbling 81 physicality finesse shot Power shot on plus, for those of you guys that love the power shot. Flare, rapid, first touch, relentless, and quick step. You have a Mia Ham that has rapid and quick step, her being 5'5", five five, with double five, insane dribbling, her body type, one of the best dribblers. If not, you can make the argument she's the best dribbler of EAFC 24 Ultimate Team. Her left stick dribbling out of this world, y'all boys. Look at those shooting stats. Look at those shooting stats real quick. Everything is 90 plus in the shooting category, except for penalties. We don't count that. Absolutely amazing. No debate, she's top five. Only thing hindering her from being higher up on the list for me is that physicality. That physicality can be a liability of times if you're going against a Van Dyke, a Lucio, or a company. Aside from that, she's going to kill it up top for anybody. Now, coming number three is going to be Triple Threat Heroes David Ginola. 6'1", high medium work rates, double five star on the skill moves, and weak foot with that right foot exertion type is controlled. 91 pace, 89 shooting, 89 passing, 92 dribbling, 85 physicality, power shot, technical on plus, quick step, flare, and first touch as well. Guys, Ginola this year is absolutely broken i do not care what anybody says this is janola's best year in fifa in recent years you know it's a problem when janola not only has top tier shooting but he feels amazing on the ball i don't know what they did with janola's dribbling this year he feels really good whenever you perform scoop turns reverse elasticos 
stepped overs he's absolutely gone it's very tough to catch up to the card when you have a janola with insane shooting and top tier dribbling like the cards i'm about to mention up top it's game over now coming number two is gonna be maybe a little controversial but i just rate this guy so much this year guys and it's gonna be killian mbappe it can be his inform his player of the month or his trailblazers six foot high low workers five star skill moves four star weak foot preferred foot is the right acceleration type mostly explosive 98 pace 91 shooting 81 passing 93 dribbling 79 physicality power shot on plus flare rapid quick step and Travella as well guys mbappe this year same thing with janola this is mbappe's best fifa year in most recent years you know it's a true testament of how broken this card is when the gold card is still over 2 million coins in the month of November. Insane pace, basically maxed out. Insane shooting, even with the weak foot. That's one thing from the past FIFAs that I didn't like from Mbappe. This year, it's basically like he has a 5-star weak foot. 95 finishing. Insane dribbling. Insane physicality. Insane offensive AI. You cannot go wrong with this card, guys. Let me know where you guys rank Mbappe this year in EAFC 24. But for me... And as usual, the number one player and the best striker of EAFC 24 Ultimate Team. And I'm going to be completely honest, guys. I don't even think this is a debate. Bias aside, 94 rated R9, AK Nazario. Six foot medium, medium, double five star skill moves and weak foot with the right foot. Acceleration type is controlled, explosive. 94 pace, 94 shooting, 79 passing, 94 dribbling, 75 physicality, finesse shot, technical, trickster and quick step on plus guys if you guys haven't checked out my r9 review go ahead and check it out and you guys will know what the hell i'm talking about this card is insanely broken at first when i saw his price tag being eight to nine million coins i thought people were smoking something i'm gonna be completely honest i'm like there's no way this card should be that much i tried out the card and i'm like all right he's still not worth that much but i can see where people are coming from this card is basically every attacker into one you get the quickness of mbappe the consistency of shooting of Eusebio, insane dribbling of Cruyff and me and Ham. You got everybody. And then you got R9's body type that this year doesn't even feel that heavy. Feels kind of lean, but at the same time with that 83 strength, it's a very good compensation and balance for him to feel very good on the ball and not get bodied off the ball at the same time, which is absolutely amazing. Just a perfect striker. You guys let me know what you guys think about R9 this year. And you guys let me know what you guys think about my list of the best strikers in this year's FIFA installment. Do you guys agree with the order of my list? Or do you guys feel like I left out some strikers on the list? Because I definitely did. There's some very good strikers I left out like Kenny Daglish, Eto, and those type of cards. But I just feel like these people on this list are just top tier and a tad above than the other players. If any strikers you guys rate are not on this list, I don't think they're bad. I just think that these are better. But yeah, guys, that concludes the rankings for today thank you guys so much for supporting all these videos on the rankings you guys are showing a huge amount of love towards these videos and i do appreciate them so the next time i'm gonna be doing these rankings will probably be the end of december right before team of the year the next video i'm probably gonna be dropping is gonna be a player review from that new promo i forgot what's the new promo carl or maybe it's gonna be a player of the month and Bappe review i'm gonna have to see which order i'm gonna be dropping these videos but till next time it's been your boy dan fifa and i am out Bye bye